In this video, we're gonna be comparing a car sealant and a car wax, not just visually, but also using a water bead test to compare them as well. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you are a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So what I've done here is divided the hood into two different areas for obvious reasons. Obviously one part I'm going to be putting the wax on it, the other part I'm going to be putting the sealant on it. Here are the two specific products that I'm going to be using. For this specific comparison, we're going to be using Optimum Car Spray Wax as well as the HD epoxy from 3D Car Care. Now, just in the nature of full disclosure, the directions of the HD epoxy actually says that HD epoxy is a hybrid fossilized wax crafted to bond to the paint for protection and long lasting durable shine. So even though the description says wax, basically everyone in the community would consider this a sealant and kind of the idea behind this product is long lasting protection anyways. And so that's why I'm using this as the sealant. In fact, this is probably better than a lot of sealants like things like Jet Seal, Chemical Guys, because it actually lasts longer than that. Done several tests between this sealant and other sealants, and this one just absolutely does last longer. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna apply the HD epoxy to this left side. If I'm facing the car, it's the left side of the hood. And what I'm gonna use is a finishing pad on my Rupes DA. I'm gonna keep it on a pretty low setting, just around two, two and a half, and just kind of let that sealant bond to the paint. It actually has directions. It needs to sit for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna apply the HD epoxy to the paint. I'm gonna then let it sit for 45 minutes. I'm gonna apply the Optimum Car Wax to the right side of the hood, buff that off obviously immediately. We're going to look at the visual difference, then we're going to look at the water bead test between these two products. So let's go ahead and apply the HD epoxy. go ahead and let that HD epoxy sit and cure on the paint so that that sealant can bond to the surface of the paint. For the next about 45 minutes, let's go ahead and apply the Optimum Car Wax to the other side of the hood and then we'll come back when this is ready to be buffed off. just for good measure, I'll let this sit on the paint for just a second. Not that it's actually going to do anything or make the product react any differently, but just because we're letting that cure for about 45 minutes, I'll at least let this sit on the paint for maybe a minute. So the HD epoxy has now been sitting actually for a little bit more than 45 minutes. I just wanted to be a little OCD and let it bond a little bit more. So let's go ahead and buff it off with this microfiber towel. Now just in an effort to give you guys as much information about this product as possible, it's not difficult to wipe off. That's why I'm not speeding this up. I want you guys to see even actually sitting outside, partly cloudy, partly under the sun. As a mobile detailer, I have to work in the sun. So even though 99.9% .9 of products are going to say, you know, apply in a cool shaded area, that's it's not always possible for me. So these kind of products that can be applied in the sun, even though the manufacturer's directions might say not to, are what I'm looking for. And this one is definitely proving to be one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and buff it off with my clean side of my microfiber. And you guys saw that was not any more difficult than, you know, buffing off a wax would be. So definitely no issue there. Now let's go ahead and check out the visual difference between these two products. So remember this side right here is the HD epoxy. This side is the Optimum Car Spray Wax. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, it does look like, maybe it's just the lighting, it does look like there is a deeper kind of blue, deeper gloss on this side. Kind of like that Carnuba Wax effect that you get, very like, almost like you're looking into the paint, that deep kind of look. We'll go ahead and get it from some different angles. Now, many times with waxes and sealants and these products that protect, it's not as much of a visual difference or a visual appeal that you're looking for as much as it is a protective difference and so specifically with a sealant and a wax the sealant is very obviously going to last longer than a wax is going to for obvious reasons and of course that's what we're looking at here so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take the hose and we're just gonna see if there's any sort of water beading difference that we can tell between these two products again we might not be able to see a difference because the purpose is protection and they both do protect the main difference again is the longevity of the protection but let's just see if if we can see a difference. 
So you guys can see, even as I'm spraying right now, there's an obvious, obvious like beating up on both sides. We'll go ahead and check out both sides here. So this is the Optimum Car Wax side right here. This is the HD Poxy side. Is there a huge difference in the water beating? Well, I don't know, probably not. Of course, I want to say it's like leaning towards the HD Poxy doing a better job. But again, the longevity here is the real test, which we can't test right now, but I'll definitely do an update video. So let's go ahead and grab this hose one more time, and I want you guys to see this again in action here. You can see that bead off with the Optimum Car Wax it comes right off. Just like that, runs right off the paint. And with the HD Poxy here, looks like it's doing a really good job. Looks really, really good, beads off the paint. And this is definitely beading the water better than the Optimum Car Wax is, but I wanna to go to the other side just to do it one more time. So I wanna show you guys the Optimum Car Wax side one more time because it does seem pretty obvious how um, kind of different it is the more I'm watching it, the more it really does seem like the HD Poxy side is doing a uh, better job. It's not that the Optimum Car Wax side doesn't do a good job, but I think it's just the nature of sealants, the nature of those synthetic polymers. They do a little bit better job. I'm not sure if it picks it up in the camera, but definitely as far as longevity is concerned, this HD Poxy side is going to protect for much longer. However, as far as beating the paint, I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Is one doing better than the other? Ah. Uh, Maybe not, maybe it is. I wanna say the HD Poxy because I know what it is, but if I were looking at this and I didn't know which side was which, honestly, I probably would say they're both doing just as good of a job. So there you go, there's a very, very visual test that you guys can see which between a wax and a sealant is going to make something beat up more. Now from this, when it's just first applied, you know, obviously they're both gonna bead the water really, really well, and so this isn't the best comparison. I'm gonna leave that the way it is and actually do another one update in about a week, two weeks, three weeks, just to see as time goes by how uh, maybe obvious the difference is between the water beating up between the two sides and how well each side is doing. So all in all, they both do a very, very good job. But again, because it's just right, because it was applied just now, it's not really going to be anything dramatic. So if you guys want to get your hands on the HD Poxy or even the Optimum Car Wax that I used in this video, I'm going to hook up Amazon links below this video to both of those products. They're both great for different situations. Again, the sealant is going to be for longevity. Wax is going to be more short-term results. And the Optimum Car Wax in particular is supposed to last a little bit longer. If you want to see a review video I did on that after a three-month update to see really how well the water beads with that specific product, check out the YouTube card I'm linking up right now. But again, if you want to get your hands on either of these products, there's Amazon links below this video. If you use my links, it does give this channel a small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can keep giving out awesome content just like this all the time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And I share the same strategies that turn my business into a full-time income with part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and being involved. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.